everyone. I wanted to talk to you today about 10 things that I am so grateful for. And some of these are fun and light and some of them are deeper, but I am grateful for all of them. And I think that especially in these times, we need to focus on what we're grateful for. I would love if anyone who has a channel wants to do this. And I'd also love if all of you share what you're grateful for. I'm a huge believer that we need to focus on our blessings and we need to focus on what's in our control. So that's what motivated this video. And you might pick up some tips from the things that I'm grateful for. So like I said, some of these are light and they're beauty things. My nails. I am so grateful that I do my own nails because during these times we can't get out. If you follow Candy Johnson, she is hilarious. I love that girl. And she had to cut off her nails. And they are very, very long nails she's had done at the salon. And she named one of them that she had to cut off Cindy. And then she's going to call the other one, I think, Mindy. She is so funny and so upbeat and so positive. But it makes me glad that I'm doing my nails. I'm also extremely grateful, these are kind of together, that I color my own hair and that I cut my own hair. And I'm going to put video links for all of these of how I do my own nails. You can order them off Amazon so you don't have to go anywhere to get this. Um, for cutting your own hair, Kathy's Beauty Care Chats did a phenomenal video. I'm not even going to try and do my own version of it. And then coloring my hair, I'll link that one below as well. But just doing all these things at home mean that hopefully when all of this is over, I won't look like uh, Sasquatch coming out of the house. <laughs> Doing my own nails and hair and everything hopefully helps me so that I look and feel good while I'm at home. But this next one I'm really grateful for. I think I told you that I was doing some skin treatments and I was loving the results that I was seeing. Well, with the situation I'm not able to get in for my treatments and I am now loving more than ever, my new face dupe. It's not as good as the treatments, but I would hate to see what my face would look like without it. I feel like it lifts a lot in here. I need most of the heavy lifting in here, and that's what the treatments really get. But at least I get something at home, and that new face mini, I think it's $35, I'll link it below. I love that. I do it every night while we're watching television. Having my job, I know a lot of you do not, and I'm hoping that in these temporary times, you're able to focus on your blessings and have a job there when all of this is over. I know a lot of people have been impacted, but I am so grateful to have my job. I'm always grateful for it. I have a great job. I am so blessed. I'm busier than ever being immersed in all of this craziness, but I'm just loving all of the things that I'm learning from it as well. And then I'm grateful for being at home. I love being at home. I think I'm a hermit, <laughs> but I love being up north. I couldn't be working up here and staying up here if it wasn't for all of this. I am so grateful of the timing. The construction has just been finished. When all of this craziness hit, we were able to get our furniture on the last day that the furniture guys were delivering. I was like, I couldn't even believe that that was possible. And this is a once in a lifetime opportunity for us, at least until we retire, where we're spending all this time up here. And yes, we both work at home and we're very busy, but being able to start our day looking at this sensational view and looking out at the birds from my office being able to take a walk, doing jacuzzis at night. I am just loving being up here and I'm so grateful for that. Anyone who follows me normally knows that down in the valley, which is in Arizona, in Phoenix, in the city, Mark and I work different schedules and we have date night on Wednesday and then the weekends together, but the rest of the time I don't have to cook. Well, now being up northern Arizona, we're together all the time. And he's looking at me and saying, what's for dinner? And I'm like, good question. I don't know. I am so grateful for takeout. <laughs> we have been using it as, a, as an excuse to support our neighboring restaurants. And thank goodness for them. Amazing cooking, amazing meals. And we're still cooking in between times. Sometimes myself, sometimes Mark barbecuing. But 
I love my takeout and I love that the portions are huge so I can usually put aside half of it so that I don't look, there's all these funny memes going around about the how we look before and after quarantine. I want to look like the guy that's coming out of prison who's all buff. I don't think I'm going to be there because I don't exercise enough. But I'm trying to be careful with my portion control. I am so grateful to start every day with a devotional or five minutes of reading time before I start my work. Once my work starts, I'm pretty consumed until my evening meetings are finished. Sometimes that's seven, eight, nine o'clock, depending on which country I'm dealing with. But I always start my day off up here with a devotional. I hope I could maybe keep that practice when we go down to the valley, but I'm using my commute time for devotionals. So once I get back to work, I don't think I'll be able to sustain that. But I am loving that. Even if no matter what your spirituality is or what you're into, even if you just read a fiction book for five or ten minutes in the morning, it really is peaceful and helps to start your day off right. Number ten is puzzles. It's great to have a puzzle table going. We have a blessed view where we look up and we see the birds, but it's fun to work on that, have the music on. It's just, I don't know, it feels, even though you're at least for us, we don't talk when we're doing puzzles. We're both in our own little world working on our little section. It feels very joined and I enjoy that a lot. And then, this is number 11. I know I'm over, but I'm grateful for all of you. Whether it's the fabulous women who make videos and it's fun to watch you and seeing the makeup you're using and swatching and just helping us have fabulous entertainment and distraction or whether it's the ones who are leaving the comments on my videos and some of you make videos and some of you are just watching and I'm so grateful for you that you hang out with me, that we have the dialogue, that you share your life with me. I feel so incredibly blessed. So I hope this takes off as a tag so we can all see whether it's important things like our nails or whatever it is and focus on our many blessings. And like I said, I'd love it if you share below what you're grateful for during these times. And I hope you focus on your world and the good things that are in it. And I hope you have a lot of things that are fabulous. Thank you so much for spending some of your time with me. I always appreciate it. And I hope you are doing really well. We'll talk to you next time.